Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, kick your feet up as we quickly recap episode 10. Yes, is this the final conclusion of season 6, How to Get Away with Murder. Let's talk about some clues that we just learned in this episode. That's all coming up next. It's Bunny. So we learned from the first half of season six that Annalise is on the run, running away from it all, unveiling herself in this mirror to strip down this identity of who Annalise is. Meanwhile, Michaela and Connor, they are arrested. They're telling them that we have your fingerprints on the murder weapon, no more running. And Michaela and Connor are like, you know, clearly we were set up and that's not the case. Annalise continues to wait on further instructions from this cell phone that she has. Bonnie tries to act discreet as if she doesn't know Asher is dead. Connor goes into this panic attack to disguise that he knows, needs to go to the hospital. Oliver panics and says, hey, I did it. Arrest me. We learn that Laurel goes into hiding because of Xavier's people. Bonnie also learns that Asher is the mole. Bonnie tells Frank about it and Asher steady tries to pump out information out of them and Frank can see it and hear it. Bonnie tries to tell Oliver that, hey, I don't think you guys killed Asher. You didn't kill him because I saw him after he left your house. So sign this form so I can represent you. Michaela declines Bonnie's services because she's called her dad, who can get her her own lawyer to defend her. And Asher is constantly trying to fish for information from Frank. Frank tries to warn Nate like, hey, the Xavier's people know about Miller and you might want to give a fair warning about this and Annalise is gone. But Nate tells him, hey, don't ever come back to my house. Michaela and Connor, they're smart enough to say, hey, if you have enough as evidence, why don't you charge me? Just charge me now. And they're both saying the same thing. And the feds say, OK, the underlying of all of this is that. We don't have enough evidence, but we want you guys to help us get Annalise. She's the underlying person of it all. Asher continues to try to pump Frank from information, saying, hey, we're not going to get away with this, are we? And Frank is saying, hey, you're high. I don't know what you're talking about. You need some rest. Stay awake. You don't want to fall asleep because, you know, you're high and you could kind of go into this coma. But we see him, Frank, go into the restroom and look for something. And he gets something from the under the, the restroom cabinet, but we don't see exactly what that is. The feds are telling Michaela and Connor, here's the deal. We'll give you a deal of five years if you admit that Annalise is behind all of these murders. And they show all of these photos of people who we have seen since season one of people that are gone. I kind of had to remind myself and say, wow, I forgot that all of these people are dead. So we then see the situation where Michaela, Michaela and Connor, they have this conflicting scenes of what to do and Michaela is asking her dad you know if you were me what would you do and he says well think about it it's only five years and you and Connor are not going to be seen the same with a jury just give her up think about your future I can make things happen. I have connections and we'll get everything expunged or sealed to where people don't see this episode. You can be a successful lawyer. You can keep doing what you need to do. So why don't you just take this five years and run with it? Oliver is telling Connor the same thing. Like, take the deal. Five years is nothing. I'll still be here for you when you get out. If you just take these five years, then we can give, get on with it and move on with our lives. And you don't have to think about this ever again. And Connor is saying they want us to lie. I can't lie. 
We learn that the feds say that they signed a deal, but we don't know who. We eventually find out that it's Michaela who has signed a deal. But we see that she says with this deal, it, we have to be pr protected. Connor and I have to be protected. Whatever F evidence is found that if it's not proving that we've done anything, you have to let us go. And then we see Connor come out and we're thinking, oh, maybe he signed the deal. Come to find out they're both smart, soon-to-be lawyers, and they figured out that they've made the same deal with the feds. And it's interesting that Michaela's dad doesn't look too happy. Then we see later that Bonnie asks Frank, did you kill Asher? And Frank is saying, kill a fed informant? I'm not stupid. I wouldn't do that. We learn that the charges against Michaela and Connor are dropped. And what's interesting at the end of the episode, Annalise, when she's following the lady in the yellow hat that is supposedly taking her to a safer place, she stops. And it's like she has this gut feeling that maybe she shouldn't get into this vehicle. Maybe I shouldn't get into this car. And as an audience viewer, you're like, why is she stopping? Why is she not getting in the car? But Annalise, what we know about her, she's super smart. And she's thinking 10 steps ahead all of the time. And as soon as she stops, we see the clip of Michaela's dad talking to the feds and saying, hey, are you still trying to locate Annalise? And then we see the cops in that country where they are start to arrest Annalise on behalf of the FBI. And that's the end of the episode. Of course, there's tons more of details within this episode. But I wanted this video to be kind of a discussion. And I wanted people to have more ideas of what they think is going on. To me so far, just taking a wild guess, I could think that Annalise is trying to get arrested. She had a gut feeling about where they were taking her because she doesn't know where she's, they're, they're taking her or where she's going. Are they taking her somewhere to murder her? Did she feel more safe being arrested and then being taken back to the States? Did it worry her that she didn't know what was happening with everybody else after such an explosive argument from last season with everybody else? I really think that Annalise has a master plan about more information to find out and who's setting this up, where Laurel is, information about that. And it's just amazing to me that we have Asher gone. And was this someone that Laurel knows? Was it her family that did this? And if it was, how did they know where he was located? How did they know the particular place to be and the weapon and setting up Michaela and Connor, it seems really odd. It seems like there's somebody from within another mole that may be setting up something completely. Oliver, to me, is always jumpy and is always unpredictable in doing things. Could he be the mole that we're overlooking? Let me know what you think. Leave your comments, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any posts, and make sure to follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, officialbun underscore E. Until next week, I'll see you for episode 11. Bye!